In this short video, I will show you how to make an editable newspaper template in Google Docs, like this one here. The three most important parts are the columns, then how to do the header, and lastly, towards the end of the video, I will show you how to create a drop cap, which gives a nice finish to the newspaper format look. So let's get started. The first thing to do is create the three column newspaper format. So you click format, then to columns and select three. And now we'll copy the text in. Control C, Control V, and there it is in three columns. Now, we'd like the columns a bit wider, so we'll go to file, page setup and change the margins to one centimeter. One, 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 one. Okay, and there's your basic three column format. And we'll change the font to a nice newspaper format. Select all, go up to fonts and we'll use Georgia. And we'll justify all the text. We'll add some images now but before we do, we'll reduce the gap between the columns. So back up to Format, Columns, this time click More Options. Okay, and here's the spacing between the columns. We'll make it 0.8 of a centimetre. Apply. Now, that makes it tighter. So we'll put in an image here. Go up to Insert, Image, Upload from Computer. And I'll add the other two very quickly. To add the newspaper header text, double click the head of the document. And now we'll copy in the newspaper heading. Let's change the font to the good newspaper font, Georgia, and increase it to 60. Put an underline and center justify it. Now we put the date of the newspaper. Now we just put that smaller font, 12, remove the underline. Okay, and then we just put a divider to help format the whole newspaper. Horizontal line. And there's your newspaper format. We can tidy up the formatting a little bit, bringing up this space and may making that italic and balancing the pictures a bit. We just bring this one up here and this one down here a bit. Okay. And then we can just remove the text from the last page if you don't want a second page. And there's a one page document in newspaper format. Now to really enhance the newspaper format look, let's add the drop cap. Get rid of the W and we add it as an image. So we insert, image, upload from computer, a graphic I created earlier, and then click on this and we're going to wrap text. And then you just have to play around with it to make sure it sits nicely. Make it a little bit smaller. And then we'll click on the margin around it, we'll make it zero to make it nice and tight. And we'll bring it up a little bit more. And there we have it, nicely wrapped with your drop cap, exhibiting a nice newspaper looking format. We can tighten up the design a little by making the margin of the header a little smaller. So click on the header, click options, and the header margin will bring that to 0.3 and apply. And there you are, it's nice and tight, the header. To create the drop cap graphic, use a basic image editor such as Microsoft Paint. Use the text box tool, click inside here, make sure the font is nice and big, such as 72, and type 
your letter. It's using Times New Roman, which is a good newspaper type of font. Click off and then just tighten the space around the graphic like so and then save it. File save as. I'll overwrite this one. Yes. And that's my drop cap saved. If you feel this video was helpful to you, please help me by subscribing. Thank you.